Are there any tests that you think most people should do potentially earlier than current guidelines suggest? Yeah, well, I'm really happy to see that the guidelines for colonoscopy were moved from 50 to 45. I think that's an excellent step in the right direction. I would personally move it up one step closer uh, to 40. I think coronary imaging is 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 pretty important, especially for people who are hesitant to begin uh, managing risk factors. We just see a lot of folks kind of waffling and you know being influenced by really bad social media saying oh but you don't really need to do anything about this and you know as long as you're healthy and you're on a certain diet you're fine you know you always have to ask yourself the question right which is if i'm doing a diagnostic study is the outcome going to change what i do and if the answer is no you shouldn't be doing it right every time we do a diagnostic study on a patient we're not only discussing the the risks of it the physical risks, the psychological risks, the false positives, the false negatives, the positive and negative predictive value, all those things. But we're also saying how the outcome of the test would change what we are doing from what we are doing now. Obviously, we talk about blood markers like ApoB, uh, LP little a, I think that should be done but you know, everybody buys themselves one of those a year. We're much more aggressive on PSA than what is recommended. We, we think it should be done annually on every male non-negotiable. We also frankly think that there are enough reasons that a guy has a PSA change that can be unrelated to pathology that frankly, we just do it on every blood test. We actually recommend low dose CT scan uh, for lung cancer screening. So lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer death in men and women by far, but that's all comers. But if you separate out the lung cancer that shows up in people who have never smoked versus all the others, all the others would still be the number one cause of cancer death, but the lung cancer in never smokers would be the seventh leading cause of cancer death. And then the next question is, well, but what about all the false positives you're gonna find? And again, if you're doing the test annually, the false positives become irrelevant because you're following them serially, right? So most people are gonna have some sort of little granuloma in their lung, and the recommendation of the radiologist is, let's see what it looks like in a year. Um, and of course, if it's something that's more sinister than that, you actually wanna be able to see it. 